everyone, welcome to Single Simulator. Today, I want to talk about uh, another YouTuber. If they ever play this game, they might, they might not, because, well, they're a Minecraft YouTuber. But, um, you've seen the title. What if Dream played Signal Simulator? Now, the first thing I want to tell you is what Signal Simulator is, if you haven't known about it. You can skip two minutes in the video, two, skip two, two minutes in the video if you want. I'll be explaining it now. So, Signal Simulator is basically this game, where you detect signals inside of this room right here, which is your observatory, and then this thing, being a sky scanner, you can repair the solar panels to keep the, you know, from decreasing. And there's these things called event signals, which happen at certain dates and times, if you go looking for signals, and then things like this pops up, and some of them stay in your map forever, some don't. You get to control these giant antennas going this, that, and this, and that, and then the helicopter comes and brings in supplies. And also, there's aliens that watch you everywhere. Literally everywhere and any time. Aliens that watch you. You can even collect uh, items and the F11 thing. There's a whole bunch of. Yeah, it's like a tutorial thing. And I'll be. I'll stop explaining it. Three, two, one. Okay. So, the, f the first thing Dream will do is. Well, you guess it. He will be starting in the office. The helicopter is coming. Alright, so the first thing he'll be doing is he's in this little office. Now what he'll do is sit down, do this. He probably won't know what to choose unless he and unless he knows how to get a signal. You might have a little hard time controlling these the tutorial the t the tutorial will help him. Now, what he might do is go outside while he's waiting for the signal, the while the signal is downloading. He'll be running around with his golf cart. He'll check out a few places. Now, the first secret he might bump into is either this rock which has a shoe that I've already collected that would appear right here. Now this shoe will summon a UFO right above him. Or he could get a different secret, which would be at the water tower. Since he might. However, he, it's a little more possible that he'll get the shoe rather than the reporter. Then there's other things too. You'll try and find what would be a alien on on the tracks. Now an alien on the tracks, you say. What well, how would he encounter that? Well, it's kinda it's kind of hard to find it. But if you do you can recover it and, you know. Now, another thing that he might not notice is right over here, past the dead alien, there's this little hole right inside of this thing, past these storage containers. I don't see it, you say. 
Well, it's right here. You walk in. Yep. Although it's very cool the first time you see it, it doesn't do much. Now, one thing he might notice, maybe, it depends if he, if he has sharp eyes, but maybe he'll see that, that thing up in the sky that you can see on on your screen right now. No, it's not a cursor. I have my cursor turned off. That is what I like to call the blinking UFO. Now the blinking UFO, basically all it does is it, it spawns in a random area outside of the map. Mm. And basically what it does is it moves upwards, continues moving upwards slowly till it disappears and reappears somewhere else. Now, if you were go if you were to go towards this thing, this thing will always remain the same distance away from him, even if you went farther away from it. Because it doesn't want to get caught. I can keep staring at this. This blinking UFO. And basically what it's doing is it's going to catch up with me. It's going to continue. And it's really huge as well. Which is why you pretty much can't escape from its sight. Signal that people will find. The, the, there are three event signals that are quite easy for me to get. There's one that's um, this one, the booster event signal. Then there's one of the triangle UFO. Or you could get the cube, the Borg ship. Or if you, if you were watching this and want to get a different event signal, he might be. Now, as everyone will do when they see the blinking UFO, they will try and look around for it. Do you find it? They'll use your, the, their telescope. And zoom in on the UFO, and basically, they'll see the creator's face. Isn't that interesting? Since we finished with the secrets and the things he might do as first when he jumps into this game for the first time. 
there is a chance you will record it and possibly stream it. And if he streams it, you guys can help him with, you know. I thought that was the blinking UFO right there. That was a tree. See, like, the trees on the ground way over there? Now I still have a few more stuff to say. Continuing more about dream is that <clears throat> if he were to encounter an alien the first alien he would probably encounter will be either the bathroom alien which appears in the bathroom window every night if you open the door and close it enough times which he might do and two the monitor alien which shows up on this little monitor and shows up on this monitor too and it, it'll show the monitor alien looking, peeking through like this, in this exact position, in this exact hallway, in this exact same spot, facing directly towards him. Now for the bathroom alien, the bathroom alien will be standing outside the window. Now, the least, the secret that he has a chance of getting the least would be the, the, uh, you know, if I, oh wait, the rover's in the garage, would be, let me show you, you already seen it at the beginning of the video, but let me show you. It's not the shoe UFO, it's not the recorder. It is these things. I do not want to spoil what's gonna happen when I get all when when Dream gets all these pillars. In case if he's watching, I'm not gonna spoil it for him because you know. I want it to be a surprise. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, and I will see you in the next video. Mm-hmm.